I want to introduce you guys to some friends of mine who are here today passing through back on their way down to Texas. And I just got to show them my farm. We're like covered in sweat. I'll show you the footage of us being outside. <laughs> now I can introduce all hot and sweaty, but uh, these are precious, precious people. And I want them to tell you about themselves so you guys can check them out. Mind blowing. Got to be around one of the top gardening content creators on YouTube. And we got to be on her homestead, touring her whole garden and her home homestead, her animal livestock and everything. Just being, get to sit down and do some fellowship with her and Maya. So we were at the Homestead Life Conference and Jess knew we were gonna be there. She knew that it was gonna be his birthday and we decided to surprise him and I took him to her place she invited us and we just had a really good time visiting with them. One of the cutest moments during that visit was Ben. Ben <laughs> loved to tour us around and he was showing me how to feed his bunny. It's the cutest thing. What do you usually feed him? You feed him this stuff. Oh yeah, I need the potato slips. So how much do you usually get for him? Oh, the butterfly. So is this one that's already... Oh, oh my goodness, all this butterfly. We have a lot, yeah. You know what? That was the primary motivation for us in gardening. Yeah, because my mom was a big butterfly fan. And then when she passed, it was like... Uh, Maya's so, mom loves butterflies. Yeah. That's why you'll see butterfly stuff all over. Same with right. our garden. It will always. What? The reason behind us starting our videos is both of our moms have passed, and we wanted to leave something like. Yeah, because you know most people yeah. they they talk to their parents about how you do this and how they, we can't talk to our mom about yeah. anything yeah. like that. So we like you know let's do some of the garden stuff and Especially cooking being stuff. A blended family. Yeah. yeah. And so it was like, let's do video so that way we have a virtual that's document how it started. of yeah, what. That's so cool. Yeah. yeah. That's so, so cool. How do you feed the bunny? So <laughs> Does he just eat it out of your hand? <laughs> what kind of things does Newt like to eat, Benjamin? He likes sweet potatoes. He likes sweet potatoes, leaves, and what else? Basil. Basil. Mm, and carrot tops. Oh, there he goes. Oh, here he comes. Is he eating it right now? I see. Our greatest disappointment this year by far was being at Jess's and having our audio go out. It is the biggest, biggest failure and disappointment I think for us as content creators to go to a place somebody look up to and just have your equipment fail. But this is really the first time we're getting to show you guys this stuff. After Mrs. Naked Gardener and Ben was feeding the bunny, uh, Jess uh, took us on a personal tour of her garden and she was showing us everything that uh, was still growing and thriving into her garden. And one of the things she showed us was, I believe it was like a melon or a squash. And uh, I think it was, got cross um, pollinated with a, a cucumber or something that she was saying uh, but it was real interesting to see how well that they can grow cucumbers in their area compared to what we can grow in our area because we would have to start them at a different time frame so it was, it was interesting to see all the uh, lovely produce that was there. Uh, took a, we, there was just plenty of butterflies that's going all through the uh, garden. Uh, I love the way she has her flowers set up intermittent with 
uh, everything that she was growing, the zanias and stuff. We got next to her noodle beans. I was tempted to uh, jack some, but luckily she uh, was willingness to give us some of her seeds. So we're gonna try to grow some for 2021. This is the artichoke that we always mentioned that got the inspiration for us to transfer our artichoke that were in containers uh, for two years into the uh, raised beds because Jess was telling us that when she had her artichokes in the container, she decided to transfer them and uh, she was able to start to get some blooms from them. Jess took us over to her tomatoes and there were quite a few of them that were pretty overripe. And Ben, he is so stinking cute. He loves to feed them to the chickens. And it was so adorable. He handed it over to Sid and led him over to the chicken coop. He just wanted to show Sid how he was gonna throw those tomatoes out to the chickens. And so he just kind of leads the way as he takes them over to where the chicken coop is to show them how it's done. Ben is just so proud of his chickens and showing them off. It's so adorable. So after we tour the uh, chickens and stuff, we go to the greenhouse that Maya built and it was just beautiful seeing all the flowers, especially the zinnias. As y'all know, I'm a fan of the zinnias because it brings all the butterflies to the yard. And then just when we get back to the house, we just overlook and just see how everything it just looks in her garden. It's just, it was just amazing. The Homestead Life Conference is what even brought us into Jess's neighborhood to be in the situation and visit with her. Before visiting with her, we got to hang out with the Fit Farmer, which we're super excited because they just reached their 100,000 subscriber mark this week. I think like just a few days ago. Yeah, so, so congratulations. Um, that is a good feat. Been watching y'all for a long time. We were cheering for you guys. So, but it was just so cool to sit and talk and just kick it. One of the things that Doug said early on uh, is that we're like, this is the lifestyle that people are meant to live. Oh, I yeah. really, really believe that too. Mm -hmm. And and that's the only, it's a way that we're connected with the natural world, with one another, when we're, that's the way to live. Mm -hmm. Not isolated somewhere, not sitting all days in cubicles and things like that. Not if that's a problem if you're having a job right now, but we're meant to be hands-on with yeah. the environment. Here at the conference, there's a plethora of different topics. From, oh, yeah. From health to fermenting to, to gardening to compost to bees. To, yeah. to bees. It's yeah. like there's just a wealth of knowledge that you can learn all like different types of aspects of home setting. Mm -hmm. So lastly is the Homesteading Life Conference that was hosted by Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Now this was something that we were told by Robin and Jason from the Big Bear Homestead was telling us to go if we want to truly learn about the homesteading life. And boy were they right. Uh, we went there with a notebook and pen and we kind of basically the day before we were doing a game plan to show where we want to be at for each event if we wanted to tag team or go our separate ways because she wanted to do bees i want to do other things so i mean i suggest if you have a partner spouse whatever it may be that want to get into the homesteading life conference or homesteading life 
to go with them and it, it will be totally worth it. This is this is the conference of the year to go to if you're if you're really experienced in this life. Yeah. And we'll put their link for the one that's going to be in uh, for 2021. It's going to be the first weekend in August. So make sure you get your tickets. So I'm here with the famous Doug from Doug and Stacy <laughs> off grid homestead. And we're here at the Homesteading Life Conference, and we've been uh, just amazed by with all the stuff that we've been learning. Uh, our first from, time, our, our first here. time here, and we appreciate that uh, you do this. What was the main reason why you started uh, doing a Homesteading Life Conference? Because there's obviously a hunger of people that want to leave city life and get back to the roots of growing food, harvesting food, raising animals, and living a more sustainable life. So four years ago, um, we started thinking about it and we want to really do hands-on. We do a lot of stuff online. We really try hard to uh, educate you guys on YouTube as far as living this kind of life, but we really put emphasis on the hands-on training. So my wife and I decided to start this conference, gather people around, gather experts in the field, and then teach everyone who wants to learn. And it's been working out really good. Yeah, I mean, we got invited by Jason and Robin from Big Bear Home Yeah, Center. yeah, I miss you guys, wish you were here. <laughs> Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah, we're start did. making your plans for next year. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so we we were glad that they told us about this, and mm -hmm. I, I really like it. We're definitely coming back again next yeah. year. We thank you guys it. for coming out to the no event problem. and uh, being participants. You guys asked a lot of questions. Yes, you sir. had a good time, and that was awesome. So all right. make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't miss a single video. It's right there, yeah. and then all notifications so every video you get squared up on it. All right, thanks. <laughs> well, you heard the do what he says. We hope y'all have a blessed and safe New Year's and hopefully y'all will have a more prosperous 2021 year, whatever it's with homesteading, gardening, whatever it may be. Until the next video, let's grow together.